At home listening in. Come on, let's stand on your feet and give God praise even in your own home. Come on. We know God is reigning over this situation. He has all power in his hand. It belongs to him, not to us. He's a healer. He's a deliverer. Come on, let's praise him all together. All one body, one voice. Everybody listening. Here we go. See my God. I'll God bless you. Lord, you reign above every name. See my God. I'll go to Lord, you reign above every name. Come on, sing with power, sing. Don't hit me. Come on, tell them. Hallelujah, we thank you that you're reigning tonight, Jesus. Come on, lift your voice and sing with power. Don't hit me.
me another chance. You right. I'm excited this evening. I'm excited. We're not I'm not here there with you. Uh, but uh, I want you to know no one else told you this, but your pastor loves you. Your co-pastor loves you. Your bishop loves you. The whole Trinity Fifth Valley Baptist, Baptist Church family, we all love you. I know I can't hug you now, but I'm gonna give you a high five from the screen. I'm hugging you from the screen. I'm gonna kiss you on your cheek from the screen. I just want to open up how Reverend Hayes is gonna come and he's gonna pray uh, over our health in one moment. Uh, but before that, uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit. Then after Reverend Hayes will pray, uh, our minister losing my brother-in-law, Reverend Antoine Honey Corporal, he's gonna come give one more selection, then we're gonna hear from the bishop. Amen. Amen. Uh, I'm excited tonight. And I gotta tell you why. Um, this is not the first time uh, the people of God have ex experienced uh, quarantine. And then we go. A while ago, um, years ago, there were two other men by the name of Paul and Silas. They were trapped. They couldn't get out nowhere to go. But they began to pray and sing and dance and shout and scream and holler. Yeah. And when they began to shout, the very minute they had them trapped, they began to fall off of them. I declare that the Queen as the word of God comes forth, as you shout and scream and holler and praise God, whatever this had you bound, had you tackled, had you in bondage, it's going to fall off of you. One more thing I'm excited about. I'm also excited about the fact that I'm, there was one other man who experienced quarantine. Y'all not going to believe who he was. We're coming up uh, on his special day. His name was Jesus Christ. And he was quarantined for three days and three nights. Nowhere to go. Had to fight for his life. But when he got up, he got up with all power in his hands. I declare to people, whatever you've been fighting, I'm coming to tell you, God said, when you come out of this, I'm going to give you power like never before to defeat the enemy. I'm excited about one last thing this evening because the Resurrection Sunday is coming along and the enemy thought he was going to win. But he cannot defeat Christ. I came to tell everybody who watched me online, from your car, from your hospital room, from your job, you can say in the words of Joseph out of the book of Genesis, what the enemy meant for evil, God will turn that thing, flip it and reverse it, and work it out for your good. I'll be back in just one moment. I'm going to be back uh, at the end of my message this evening. I'm going to tell you uh, about what's going to come forth, how the light of Christ is to proceed. Uh, right now, we got a word and a message and a prayer uh, from our Reverend Hayes. And after Reverend Hayes, Reverend Honey will come once more uh, again and give us uh, one more selection. And then the bishop will come up uh, and give us the word of God. Amen. And when I bless you, I bless you so much. Just hug on yourself and say, I love me some God. I love me some God. God bless you. I'll be back in a moment. Father in heaven, Lord God Almighty, fathers in the name of Jesus, and we come together today, Lord. We come, Father, as brothers and sisters in Christ, Lord. We come, Father, from the spiritual world, Father. We come together, Lord. You no matter where we are, Father, we're joined together on one accord right now, Father. And we lift up praise and thanksgiving to your name, Lord. Father, we thank you, Lord, for your protection. We thank you, Father, that your angels have kept charge over us all day, Father. That you shielded us, Father, from this virus, Lord. You shielded our families, Father, our children, our grandchildren, Father. You shielded, Father, our grandparents, Lord, those who are in senior citizen homes right now, Father. You have an eye on them, Father. You're watching over them, Father, even if we can't be there to watch over you there, there Father. We thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you, Lord, for this church, Father, because we know as a family in Trinity Faith Diamond, Father, we're stronger together than we are apart, Lord. And we thank you, Father, because we know, Lord, that we're together in this, Lord. And Father, as you said in your word, we have not given us a spirit of fear, but you've given us a spirit, Father, to be overcomers, Lord, to know, Father, that we're already blessed, that we can walk over serpents, that we can drink poison, we can be in dangerous situations where we have nothing to fear because you are with us, Lord, and you have already given us the victory, Father. Lord, we pray, Father, that you would bless our nation, Father. There are people all over this nation, all over this world, Father, right now, who are worried, who are hurt, Father. Some, Father, are in the hospital right now. But it's only your healing power, Father. Only your healing power that can bring them out. Only your healing power, Father, can raise them up, Lord. So we pray, Father, for your healing to come, Lord. Let it come quickly, Father. And I pray, Father, that you would touch that young person right now, Father. The one that you have put in place, Father, to come up with the cure. The one with the vaccine, Father, that's on your mind right now, Lord. I pray you touch them, Father. 
break up the bear, Father, so that we might continue on with what we have always done, Father, and live, Father, the way that you have told us we could. Blessed in the city and blessed in the field, Father. Blessed going out and coming in, Lord. So we thank you, Father. We praise your holy name. Bless this service tonight, Father. Don't let Satan have one inch, Father. Don't let him block one person who wants to get the word tonight, Father. Lord, I pray, Father, that you would be in this service, Father, and let your Holy Spirit have its way. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Right in your home, we serve an awesome God. We serve a mighty God, a God that can do anything. And we thank you tonight, Jesus. Come on, say, Our God, He can move mountains. Keep me in the valley. Hide me from the rain. Come on, my God. Heals me when I'm broken. Strength when I get weak. Forever he will reign. Come on, let's say that one more time. Say, my God. He can move mountains. Keep me in the valley. Hide me from the rain. Come on, how many of you believe that tonight? My God. Hallelujah. He heals me when I'm broken. Lord knows he's my strength when I can weep. The Bible says forever he will reign. And come on and lift your voice if you know the song. Sing it with us, my God. Hey. Hallelujah. We serve an awesome God. Come on. My God is awesome. Come on. Say it. Everybody lift your voice and say awesome. Say, my God, Savior of the whole world, hallelujah, the giver of salvation, by his stripes we are healed, hallelujah, that means it's already done for you, my God, today I am forgiven, and I'm grateful that his grace is why I'm living, now if you really believe, let me see that jump up on your feet, and just praise that holy name. Everybody say, my God, hallelujah, hallelujah, you're awesome, Jesus said, we love you tonight, Jesus, you're awesome, everybody say, awesome, yeah, hey, he's mine, he's mine, he's mine, he's mine, he's mine.
We're so thankful, Father, with the opportunity, Lord God, to share in this, in this Bible study, Lord God. And we thank you, Lord God. Like, we pray our precious Holy Spirit, you have your way now. Teach us what you have us to know. We open our heart and receive your right answer. Thank you, Father. Thank you for all that you teach us. And we commit ourselves right now, Lord God. We will put it in practice. All that we hear. Because when faith comes by hearing, our faith will be strengthened tonight, Lord God, by what you teach us. In Jesus' name. All who preach it, amen. God bless you, God bless you. Y'all may be seated. We thank the Lord this, this evening. Because we come in our Bible, this is the Bible study we come to study. In Bible study we come to study the what? The Bible. Amen. Now, now well, our, our Bible study tonight is, has been limited from a governor's mandate. We know that we, we have a, a, a full Bible study, but this, this evening, uh, according to has been given, I didn't count but about nine, eight, nine, four here tonight. But we thank God we're here. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Now, we're going to be studying uh, from this little book. It, it actually, it comes from the Believer's Voice of Victory ministry. That's, of course, you all know that's Pastor uh, Kenneth and Gloria Copeland. Uh, uh, Pastor, Pastor Gloria Copeland wrote this book, I guess, back in the, in the 90s. And, and, uh, uh, but this is so, it's so fitting for us today. Uh, is what we're going through, and uh, we want to share this book. And in the name, the, 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 the book is, is we're going to study from this, and it, it study from is build yourself an ark. It's a blueprint for deliverance from danger, Amen. as we said by Pastor Glory Copeland. So now here's what we, I want to do. This 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 study actually it focuses on that of the 91st Psalm. Uh, we're going to look at some other things other than the 91st Psalm, but the whole study is, 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 it revolves around the, the 91st Psalm. And what I want to do, first of all, I want to read from the 91st Psalm, uh, I want to read, let's see, the first, let's see, down the first three verses. Now, 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 I want to say that we're in Bible study, right? Amen. And we know what we're doing Bible study. If you know whatever y'all want to say, we're gonna do it just like we were doing it all along in Bible study, amen? amen. So so those who are here you want you want to share something, that, that's 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 what it's all about. But let's start here in 91st Psalm. I want to read uh so we can get that to where where it will come to uh show us where we are in, in not just in the scripture, but where we are in our world today, uh -huh. all right? First three verses, it, 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 teaches, it, it, it teaches, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him will I trust. Mm -hmm. Verse three says, Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler, and from the, watch the here's what I want to get to. And from the noisome pestilence. Oh, is that, is that for me? Yeah. Now, I know what we're calling this, this coronavirus, and what we're calling it, you know, a pandemic, an epidemic, but, but it's a, you know, it's, it's, it's a pestilence. Yeah. That's what it is. And so, and so, as we look at this study tonight, we're going to not just uh, study this, we're going to see how it applies to us and how it's going to help us. There are nine chapters in this in this study. Uh, that we're going to, the Holy Spirit, well, have a way you have us to go, we're going to go it, it, it's to, to the point where you want us to go, and we'll come back, we're going to finish. We're going to continue in this lesson until we finish the lesson, all right? Amen. All right, but not tonight. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Okay. All right, the first lesson in your, in the, open, open your real books, uh, the Build Your Seven Art, the first lesson, chapter one, here it is. It says, what are we going to do? That's, the, that's, the, that, that's what the lesson is about. What are we going to do? So, go in your Bibles to Genesis 6, uh -huh. verses 13 and 14. And it says here, God said to Noah, make yourself an ark. We're going we're gonna to focus on that. But now let's look at this. 
with all the violence and the calamity bearing down on us these days, that's a question you hear a lot. What are we going to do about crime in our streets? What are we going to do about economic failures? And what are we going to do about international problems? I tell you, what we better do, we better take a lesson from Noah. Uh -huh. Look at Genesis 6. In the Bible, the scripture of the earth back in the hit day, and you'll see why we say that. It says here, the earth was depraved and putrid in God's eyesight, and that, that's the that's, that was the state of corruption. And, and, and the land was filled with violence and desecration and infringement, outrage, assault, and, and lust for power. And God looked upon the world and saw how degenerate, debased, and vicious it was for all humanity had corrupted their way upon the earth and lost their true direction. That's in verses uh, 11 and 12. It goes on to say, with a few exceptions, uh, that verse, brothers and sisters, it sounds like a description and 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 Pastor Burke Hooper said the description of the 1990s, which, is, which was written. But that does not sound like a description from where we are now. Amen. 20, 20, in the 20, 20s, amen. Uh -huh. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Where we live today. So what did, what did God tell Noah to do about this desperate situation? He said, Noah, make yourself an ark. That ark was to provide Noah's deliverance from the destruction to come. It was to keep him safe when the whole world was perishing around him. All right. So it, it goes to say, and you, and you know, it says, stop building. I believe God is saying to us today, just like he did at Noah, build yourself an ark. Now, not an ark made out of wood, but an ark made out of the word of God. Do you realize that what you know from the word of God will save your life? That's right. If you build God's promises of protection and deliverance into your heart and life, you can live in this crazy world with all its dangers and, and still feel secure. You don't have to be frightened by the things that are happening around you because even in the worst times, God has proven he has the wonderful ability to deliver his people from danger. Now notice, now this is important. Notice I said here, uh, he says, his people. Uh -huh. Today, as in Noah's day, there are two groups of people in the earth. God's people and the rest of the world. There's a family of Satan and the family of God. Because God has already provided the gift of salvation to all men, the people in the world have the same option to change groups by accepting Jesus as Savior. And you know the familiar verse of Scripture, uh, John 3, 16, For God so loved the world, He did what? Gave His only begotten Son, whose love believed in Him shall not perish, but what? Have everlasting life. But until they do, they won't be able to enjoy the benefits that belong to the family of God. So as a result, the lives of these two groups of people can be starkly different. They may be living in the same city, even in the same family, yet one of them will have a covenant with God and one of them will not. One group will live in safety, while the other group must submit to the dangers of the world on their own. It, should, it, it shall be well with him, the righteous, but woe unto the wicked, it shall be ill with him. Now I just read a verse from Isaiah 3, verses 10 and 11. You may hear, some, you may hear somebody prophesying about how bad things are, and, going to become uh, in, this, in this earth, then you may hear someone prophesy about the power and blessing that will lie ahead of, of, for us. Both prophecies may be accurate, 
But the first is speaking of the people of the world, and the second is speaking of the people of God. So Noah was a wonderful example of just how capable God is of protecting his people in the midst of corruption and, 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 and the crumbling civilization. The whole world went down around him, but eight people in his family remained in perfect safety. And I won't stop right there, because that's something that struck me at with the eight people. Now, what, what do we know about eight? It's a new beginning. Amen. A new beginning. This lets us know here, right now, everything stopped. When everything stopped, it started with eight people. And that's, that's how everything, when, 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 the, when the world was corrupt, everything just went. Uh, of course, you know what happened. Of course, you know, no, he was preaching, he would let anybody know it's going to rain, I'm putting this out, and people were evil, people laughing at him, it's not going to happen. But it did. You know, I just, I, just, I just thought about it. I was, oh man, that all fixed. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I just thought about when I was 80 years old. <laughs> My father preached a sermon when I was eight years old, and you know what the title song was? Come in the house, it's gonna rain out the wild. I just didn't think about that, that's eight. And, that's, and that was my new beginning. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. And, 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 and right now, God is saying, right now, as we focus on this, we can all see within ourselves how we can make a new beginning for us from the Word of God. Yeah. Are you with me? Yeah. Anybody want to share anything from before we move on? We good? All right? All right. So he said, he said, he said, he says, eight people in, in, in the family. All right. Some people say, oh yes, I know that I have eternal, I'm eternally safe. Say, I know that because I'm born again, I go to heaven when I die. Now watch this, but look what he's saying. I go to heaven when I die. Listen, but I'm not just talking about heavenly security. I'm telling you that you can have physical security, financial security, and every other kind of security you need to live in victory right here on earth right now. Amen. It goes, this lesson goes on to say, Loaded with benefits. Now, now I know it's a Bible study, but I see loaded with benefits. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to try my best not to preach tonight, okay? But when you start talking about loaded with benefits, we serve a God that will load us down with benefits today. Okay, let me, let me, let me stick to that. I, I just heard something. Look, one way, you see, salvation includes more than just the guarantee of going to heaven in the sweet by and by. That's just the beginning. Salvation, look, what does it say? Salvation is a big word. Here it is. In the Greek language, it literally means, okay, now y'all heard me teach before, the two Greek words that we focus on, we talk about salvation. One is satori. And the other is sozo. Okay? And, and, you know, and, and so, so, see, salvation doesn't, doesn't mean, it, it doesn't just mean, you know, I, 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 I have fire insurance. Y'all got that? It doesn't mean that, doesn't mean that. I, I, I go to heaven when I die. I got, I'm going to be saved. I'm all that. No, no, no. It's, it's, it's deliverance. It's, it's safety right here. Look, 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 what, look what it goes, goes on the teaching. Salvation, sozo, satur. Look, it goes on to teach us here, it means deliverance, safety, perseverance, uh, 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 material and, and temporal deliverance from danger and apprehension, pardon, restoration, healing, wholeness, and sounding. That's all wrapped into salvation. That's what it means. If I were to use just one word, I would say salvation is soundness in every area of your life. It includes healing your body, peace in your mind, righteousness in your spirit, physical and spiritual protection, prosperity and financial blessing. It's all wrapped up in salvation. Glory to God. I, I, think, I think God just stop just for a moment and give God praise just for that. Can we, can we give him praise just for him saying that? 
what salvation really is. Amen. 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 Okay, look, look, look. It says here in Psalm 68, verses 19 and 20. Now, this is taken from the Amplified Bible version. It says here, Blessed be the Lord who bears our burdens and carries us, carries us day by day, even the God who is our salvation. God is to us a God of deliverance and salvation, and to God the Lord belongs escape from death, setting us free. The same scripture in the King James Version says, Blessed be the Lord, who here it is, who daily loadeth us with benefits, even the God of our salvation. So just think about it. Think about that. Every day, every day, God is loading us with benefits of salvation. He loads us with forgiveness, healing, safety, security, prosperity. Somebody give me the whole my new. Deliver us from all danger. Oh, Jesus. So why are we concerned about this disease that everybody's scared of today? For we have a God who promised. I said, well, I'm going to preach them. Let me stick to the lesson. Amen. Anybody want to say anything before we move on? Come on. Fear not. Glory to God. The Lord is our help. Yes, yes, He will. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. 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 You, you got some well, Yeah, yeah, Bishop. So the Lord loaded us with benefits. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I, I just took a new position, as you know. Right? Yeah, that's right. One of the first things they told us was, hey, you got to go to this website, and that's where you're going to sign up for the benefits. We got a whole bunch of benefits that you can get. Health care, dental, vision, uh, there's all kind of things. But if you don't go to the website, or if you don't read the stuff, you're not going to have those benefits. Can he start again? Those benefits can he start again? Can he start again? Can he start again? Because... I don't know. Well, we're going to make sure yeah. you get it. Oh, I, I was just yeah. saying. We in Bible study, right? Yeah, we in Bible study. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. So, so it says he loads us with benefits. Uh -huh. he, he makes these benefits available to us. Uh -huh. But we have to do something. I just took a new position, and, and they told us there's a website you got to go to. Wow. All the benefits are there, right? Uh -huh. But, you know, health, vision. Uh, you know, stock buying program, all kinds of things loaded with benefits. Loaded. But if you don't ever go to the website, or if you don't read it, or if you don't try to apply, uh -huh. Uh -huh. you don't get any of those benefits. That's right. That's As a right. matter of fact, if you don't do it by a certain time, <laughs> right? Oh! If you don't do it by a certain day, Look out of here. then the benefits, you got you the benefit is gone. You can't you can't just sign up when you want to. Uh -huh. It's, it's a time period and it's called open enrollment. Uh -huh. If you don't do it during open enrollment, then you don't get it. <laughs> All right, no. That's good. That's good, right That's good. Because what you just said is in line with what the what the next topic is. And it says, out of all these benefits that you're loaded with, it says here, but it's not automatic. Right. All right. All right. It's something you got to do. Right. It's there for you, but it's something you got to do. Anybody else? I saw somebody else's hand. Somebody like, be good. When we keep clipping. Oh, right, look. It says it's not automatic. And look what it goes on to here. Now you may be wondering uh, if, if, if safety and security and healing and deliverance are all part of my salvation. Why? Haven't I been, haven't I been ex experiencing all these things? Because they don't come automatically. They are manifested in your life only as you, here it is, begin to trust God for them specifically. Huh. So let me explain what I mean. Remember when you're born again, you discover that God's word promised if you would repent, confess Jesus as the Lord, you would be forgiven of your sins and, and translated from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of God's Son. That's Romans 10, 9, and 8, you confess that. So you believe, obey, and accepted Jesus as your Savior and for sure thanks. And sure enough, yeah, you were instantly saved. 
But that didn't heal you from the fruit, did it? No. <laughs> That's right. He goes, said, no. Most likely, before you could be healed from the fruit, you had to hear God's word about healing. You had to learn that Jesus bore your sickness to carry your diseases until you began to, be, to, to believe for healing, until you trusted God for it specifically uh, 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 and stood in faith for it. You didn't walk in divine help. That's true about everything and anything. You know, I just thought about something too. Let me, let me, can I pause right there one more time? You know something? We talk about being saved, salvation, and, I, and, I'm, and I'm, I'm speaking of here now. See, we have to hear, faith comes by hearing. Once we hear, once we learn what God has for us, and, and it's not, and, 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 but we, and we have to do what? Put it into practice. It's just not a matter. Because I thought when he said you know, the fruit. I remember, and it wasn't just when I was a boy. You can, you can go back and I, I can mock it. Just right. I mean, almost the day after Christmas, I would get a cold and I'd get the flu and I'd go into New Year. I always went into New Year with the flu. I mean, I, I don't know what it is. But I found out that that wasn't for me. It was, you know, I found what to do about it. I found out I could take God's word because, again, I'm saved though, but I didn't know. I can take God's word, speak God's word, by the stripes of Jesus, I'm healed. I will not get the flu anymore. I will not be sick anymore. And that thing kept coming until I stood up like See, sometimes we gotta stand against this stuff. Different diseases, the ill, and, and same way what's going on there. We have to come as a as the body of Christ. We can stop all this stuff here, right? All this disease, all this epidemic, this pandemic. Because we come together in prayer and, and, and use God's word and cut it off. That's what we're here to do tonight. That's why we're setting the light. Let me finish my story. Here's what happened. Let me, let me hurry up and, and, and get it on out uh, and finish and we're going back to our lesson. Look what happened. After I said that, here comes uh, after Christmas. And I'm standing on God's word. And I said, <coughs> Just like Reverend said, it's something we have to. Everybody want to say anything with a little bit more? Come on, sister. It's the power, the power that worketh in us. Work is in us. It. Yes. Glory to God. Believe it. Yes. Amen. Lord, think it. Walk on it. Talk Amen. about it. That's right. Go to bed on it. Come on. Buy his strike from here. There you go. No weapon form against me, sister. I'm more than a problem. That's right.
find out what actually belongs to you. How many know healing belongs to you? Amen. It belongs to you. You got to say, it belongs to you. Healing belongs to you. Amen. Amen. Can, uh, can, can I say, can you, you got to say, healing belongs to you. Amen. Amen. Stay on it by the stripes of Jesus, you heal. And God said, I'm going to live with me. Anybody else get a witness? Amen. See y'all in a minute. Amen. Give me the hall. Oh, we'll come and step here in a minute. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Amen. Look at here. Look what it goes on to say. Ah, Jesus. <laughs> it says, uh, again, that's true about that thing. Until you find out what actually belongs to you, that's why I stopped you off through the blood of food. It, it's from what? Through what? Through the blood of Jesus. You can lay hold of in, in your faith, by, by faith, take it by faith, and, and see, that's why that's so important. For you to know God's promises of protection. Amen. You receive blessings by what? Faith. By faith. And faith comes by hearing the word. You can have faith for something and don't know about it. Some you don't know about. If someone, here we go. This seems like to be this male. Come out just a moment ago. But look, it says if someone uh, would have deposited a million dollars in, in an account with your name on it, but didn't bother to tell you about it, you'd never be able to enjoy it, would you? No. It belonged to you. But you wouldn't know to which it was drawn. So it was sick. Listen, I'm so, I'm so sorry. Come on. I just want to, uh, because there, there are people who don't have copies of this at home. Okay. And want to make sure that, um, that, that they understand that last sentence in that paragraph. Okay. You can't have faith, because I think it, uh, it, um, it was a, um, when you were talking, it was an error. You can't have faith for something that you don't know about. Uh -uh. And okay. I think you, you made a mistake and said you can't have faith. Just you can't. You can't. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. I, 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 I guess I was, I was cutting, my, cutting my step and I got off. <laughs> that, that's important. You can't lay hold of it, of it by faith. That's where we are? Is that where you were? That. The, the bottom of the page? Yes, sir. Go slow. Page 18. Where are we at? Page 20. Oh! The, the last sentence. The first paragraph. The last sentence. The last sentence. In the first paragraph. Oh, okay. Thank you. All right, let's, let's go back. You already went back with me. You can't have faith for something you don't know about. And I went in the read, but it, 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 it gave us actually an illustration here about what was going on. But look. So, so if let's so so being that we said that, let's go back to the illustration one more time. So you cannot, you can't have faith for something you don't know about. So look what it says again. If someone were to put a million dollars in your account with your name, you didn't know about it, uh, but you didn't bother, they didn't bother to tell you about it. You'd never be able to enjoy it. It would belong to you, but you wouldn't know to withdraw it. So it would just sit in the back, what? Unused. Mm. That's the sad situation so many believers in today when it comes to the mighty benefits of salvation through Jesus, the anointed one. Uh -huh. So so how many, it, it says here, if, if, I don't, if I don't know I have it, I can't have faith for it. Is that it? Uh -huh. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So the word of God is telling us what we can have faith for. And the, and the focus was on what? We were talking about having faith, I guess my illustration was having faith for sickness. Yeah. Uh -huh. Not just sickness, poverty. Uh -huh. Not it, de delivering anything, but you can't have yeah. it if you don't know about it. Yeah. Come on, you, you got something? Yes, sir. Come on. I want to go back to uh, what Reverend Hayes 
the um, illustration that he gave. It was in line with it. Yeah, that's okay. Just about going online, and in order to receive those benefits, he had to go online, he had to read on, he had to know what was available to him. All the benefits were there, but if he didn't seek them, then he wouldn't know. He would go through life and not know all of those benefits that were, would go with that new job. So I, I just want to make that just um, one point. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, and while, while he was talking, because I had read about this million dollars, I said that, that sounded like the same, just, but that was his own personal uh, illustration. But, but, but that's, that, that, that's so true. So finding out, knowing what God has, so, so we know from, we learn from the word of God, it's something we already know, but faith comes high by hearing, hearing by the word of God. We know we, we can't have faith for something you don't know about. But once you know about it, you're going to put it into practice. And you're going to, it's, it's going to belong to you. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Should I, should I, uh, okay. The next, the next, let that time went by real quick then. You get some, bro? Come on, come on, come on, baby. I had a comment about uh, healing. Uh, we talked about this before. Mm -hmm. um, your, say you cut your finger. Mm -hmm. You know that's going to be. Mm -hmm. You already know that. You had that experience as a child or whatever. You, you stubbed your toe or whatever. You can heal. Mm -hmm. you, know, you can use that same belief, that same understanding going forward with other things, more complex things. Mm -hmm. A broken mm -hmm. arm or coronavirus mm -hmm. or whatever. You can apply that same <coughs> mindset to that. Amen. 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 <sighs> That's good. Amen. Once you know about it, you know how to apply it. Uh -huh. That's good stuff. Amen. Amen. Anybody else? I'm looking at my clock. I'm looking at the next lesson. The next lesson is keeping the conditions. But I'm looking at my clock and I think we're probably out of time. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. Come on, give the Lord some praise one more time. Amen. 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 All right, come on, let's pray. Father, we thank you. That your word has gone forth, Lord God, we thank you, Father, that our faith is strengthened from what you've taught us tonight. And we open our hearts and we receive all of it. But Father, we don't just hear it, we commit ourselves to put it into practice. We know what belongs to us. So be that we know, Lord God, we, we now go forth and do what you call us to do. And lift you up and again, give you praise. And thank you in advance, but we know it's already done. Precious name of Jesus. We say thank you, Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now I want to give, I want to give all the opportunity that's listening. Our main focus on everything we do is bringing those to the Lord. So I want to, I want to invite someone that may be listening. If you're not saved, I want to. Salvation again is, uh, I said something, and we just, we just talked in the lesson. It's not just, I'm saved so I can go to heaven. There's so many benefits on earth in salvation. And all you need to do is claim your salvation through what you say. If you're not saved, all you need to do is say right now, I confess with all my mouth the Lord Jesus. I believe in my heart that God raised you from the dead. I believe it from my heart, I say it from my mouth, I know right now I'm saved. I just tell God, thank you Lord for saving me. Amen. Amen. Somebody right now, also, you're saved, but you're straight away. And God is saying, now the time, you can come back to him. Thank you Lord. And I'm so glad in the New Testament church, the, the, the 19, the Acts 19 talks about being those that were filled with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit gives us a power, gives us guidance, gives us a direction. It, it, it teaches that when you are stressed out, you, can, you have a, a, a brand new holy language that's called tongue, and we're not ashamed of it. Nothing spooky about it. But it's from God that will help us and guide us and teach us and show us the right way. So we thank God. You can thank God for that gift that He's given you. I say, Lord, fill with the Holy Spirit. 
and God will do today. And then, the last little thing I said to you, a church home. God said in his word, forsake not the sin of yourself together. Come into the church, trust God, and we will invite you to come to the Trinity. Amen. But trust God for the church home, and God will bless you. Glory to God. Pastor Jose. Amen. Can somebody give a round of applause for our bishop even one more time? Y'all just heard the word. What are we going to do? You're going to speak to him right now. I want you to speak to him. Whatever it is, I want you to say, I'm the head and not the tail. I'm a ball, never believe. I'm a lender, not a ball to get it out. I want you to consider partnering with us, sowing the seed with us, or your tithes are offering. I have three different ways I'm going to talk to you about very quickly that you can give. The first way is that of um, what's it, uh, push pay. Push pay. Text the word faith down. All one word F A I T H D I A M O N D. One word faith down. Text that word faith down to seven seven nine seven seven. I want you to uh, get your biggest seed in your hand, whether it's a thousand dollars. It could be ten thousand dollars. You could be balling and give us a million. That'd be so much a blessing for the kingdom of God. But uh, whatever your greatest gift is, a thousand, five hundred, one hundred. Uh, if those people who can only get 50, 25, you know that's the only 25 days until Resurrection Sunday. If you get a gift of 25 hours, even right now, text the word, fake down to 77977. Also, two, two other ways, I'm going to give it to you. You can mail it. You can mail it. Here's the address, 1023 Deep Creek Boulevard, Chester Peak, Virginia, 23323. I'm going to say it in your greatest seat, make it out with Trinity Faith Diamond, uh, 1023 Deep Creek Boulevard, Chesapeake, Virginia, 23323. Or you can bring it in the house. We're here every day from 9 to 10 to 2. Every morning, every day we're here from 10 to 2. If you want to drop it off personally, just so you can feel the Holy Ghost in, 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 in your life, you can do it that way. So, push point, you can bring it in, you can drop it off here. Uh, I'm telling you, uh, God going to bless you. Here's what the Bible says. He said, if you bless the house of God, a favor and he will bless your house. Also, he will rebuke the devourer. Yeah. I'm going to speak to the coronavirus right now. I'm going to speak to the coronavirus, the flu virus, the stomach virus. I told my church on Sunday, even the computer virus has to bow down to the name of Jesus. So at that name, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess. So huh, consider sore your largest seat. Text the word one more time. Faith Diamond to 77977. Or you can bring it in, you can mail it in. 1023 Deep Creek Boulevard. Amen. Um, everyone, even in your home, I want you to stand. I want to uh, proclaim something over there. I want you to stand. Lift up your right hand right where you are. And the words of our mentor, I want you to put out to me. Would you say, walk with God? Yeah, walk with me. Talk with God. He'll talk with me. Listen to God. He'll listen to me. Love God because He first loved me. Now, under heaven, who's absolutely able to do anything but fail? Hallelujah. Bless you, Reverend Huggy. May God rest. May God rule. May God abide. May God make you sleep until you answer your call. May God make you reverence until you walk in your anointing. May God irritate you until you have enough sense to worship Him. And may God bless you with a surplus that you have to start giving stuff away. To the only wise God I say to you, glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever, in Jesus' name. Will somebody shout hallelujah? Come on, say hallelujah. Will you say hallelujah? One more time, hallelujah. Come on, give him glory. God bless you. I see you on Sunday. 10 a.m. Peace, power, and glory. Shalom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.